Have you ever pondered the vastness of God's creation and our role within it? Today, let us explore these profound questions through the lens of Scripture. Let us first give praise and thanks to our Heavenly Father, who is the author of life and the architect of all that exists. His wisdom surpasses all understanding and His grace is boundless. Let us rejoice in His glorious presence as we delve into His Word. Today we turn our hearts to Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 6. You alone are the Lord. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and everything on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve them all. The host of heaven worships you. This verse is part of a larger prayer led by the Levites during a significant assembly of the Israelites as they reflected on God's sovereignty and their history. This prayer follows a period of confession and repentance as the people of Israel renew their covenant with God after rebuilding Jerusalem's walls. It is a powerful moment of communal acknowledgement of God's unparalleled power and ongoing provision. Nehemiah's acknowledgement that God alone created the cosmos, the heavens, the earth, and all life sets a foundation for understanding His sovereignty. This acknowledgement is not merely about power, but about relationship. The creation narrative is a testament to God's desire for harmony with His creation, and here Nehemiah reiterates this by recognizing God's sustaining power. In a world that often feels chaotic and out of control, this verse offers us a profound reassurance. Just as God preserved and sustained the heavens and the earth, He also preserves and sustains us. It reminds us that nothing is too great or too small for God's attention and care. Just as the heavens are in constant worship, we too are called to live lives that reflect our reverence and love for Him. This isn't just about singing praises, it's about living in a way that shows our trust in His sovereignty over our lives and our world. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we stand in awe of Your mighty works. Thank You for the breath of life, for the beauty of the earth, and for Your hand that guides and sustains all things. Help us to live in awareness of Your majesty and to respond with lives that honor and worship. In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. Thank you, my dear brothers and sisters. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Until we meet again, God bless you all.